Mr. Mahdi Rashid Al Hamdani, Minister of Water Resources from Iraq. It is my great pleasure to have this interview with you. Great that you are at IHE Delft, and uh, it is my pleasure to talk to you today. Would you like to tell us what are the main challenges Iraq is facing related to water resources? Thank you very much, and uh, it's, uh, it's an honor to me to be here in, uh, in IHE, this institute. I like, of course, I have one of uh, the participants who graduated in 2007, so I like to be here many times. Uh, with respect to your question about the, the main challenge that we are facing in, in Iraq, in fact, Iraq is uh, located downstream uh, uh, the main two river. So the whole, let's say, more than 80% from our water resource come from outside Iraq. So that is the main challenge. The, the second one is there is no any international agreement between the Iberian country. I mean, no any international agreement with uh, Turkey and uh, as well with, uh, with Iran. We have now uh, just uh, suspend, but we are working to, uh, to make it functional again. And uh, Iraq is an arid and semi-arid area, so they are, I mean, suffering from drought. So the climate change is also one of the main issues that we are facing now. So that is our big challenge now. Thank you very much. Would you also like to tell us uh, what are the main challenges you face as a minister? Yes, there, there, there are many challenges uh, during my day work, let's say. The Ministry of Water Resources is dealing with the poor people, like a farmer. And it also have a challenge to deal with the high-level people as well. You know, it's not easy to convince people that there is a drought, they cannot uh, cultivate or they, 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 they cannot agriculture uh, their land 100% because of drought. So that is, I mean, that is what, what we call a day mission, a daily mission. We need to sit with the whole people, please be considered there is no rainfall, there is no, so you need to change your crop pattern. So, I mean, also the cooperation between Ministry of Water Resources and the Ministry of Agriculture, there is no quiet cooperation in terms of drought. In the flood season, we don't have any problem, you know. When the flood, we, we have, we have a, a, I mean, a plenty of water to, to cover all requirement. But in a drought, we feel that uh, the Ministry of Water Resource alone facing that challenge. These are very important challenges uh, you have mentioned and uh, great that uh, you are making efforts to overcome them. Uh, would you like to tell us what are uh, the ambitions you have as a minister? First of all, we need to, to have uh, our uh, water right my target to have an, an agreement with the, the upper part country like uh, Turkey, for, for instance, because most of our water resources come from, from Turkey. The second one, uh, and that is my, also my target, to, to change the irrigation system. And that is what we are working on it now, since, uh, let's say, one year. We are looking, and I am looking, to change the they say what we call the uh, open irrigation system to close system. I mean, transfer water by, by pumping and through piping. That is give equity to the people. I mean, the farmer who live in the downstream, the canal, he, 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 ha he have a full right to have the same amount from the upstream. So that is our, uh, I mean, that is what I'm looking for. And also, in our, uh, in our ministry, we put the first mission to keep a water right to the people living downstream. So if, you, if we succeed to transfer water to them with good quality, that is mean our ministry succeed in, in, in their mission. Indeed, addressing these uh, challenges is really quite difficult and you are doing it uh, greatly uh, in collaboration with water users, but also different ministries and transboundary level. This requires a lot of uh, capacity development and uh, training as well. Would you like to tell us uh, the collaboration between IHE Delft and uh, your ministry? 
how that contributes in addressing water issues in Iraq? Yeah, of, of course, uh, since I am one of the IHE alumni, so I understand what can IHE uh, doing very good for, for, for our country. I mean, uh, the cooperation with IHE is the main target that we are looking for. So we are, I mean, during our meeting with, uh, with, uh, with Mr. Rector, Mr. Eddie Morse, so I, I asked him to, uh, to find a way to open a branch for IHE in Iraq. We need to build the capacity of our staff and increase their awareness about the, the new challenge, what we call the, the climate change, and we need to reach the SD6, I mean, in, in 2030. So with the cooperation with IHE, uh, I think we will uh, reach uh, a good point by, uh, at the end of the day. Would you also like to tell us uh, what role IHE Delft has played in your education? Because you are our uh, alumnus. When we have a chance to study here in IHE, of course, it's uh, open, your, uh, open our eyes about the new technique in the whole world. So what we learn here in IHE, we are using directly in our fields in, in Iraq when, when I go back to my country after graduated. So there are new techniques. So we, we also using the same technique and, and also develop that. So it's, it's not me, there are 18 uh, participants. So uh, I think uh, that is very good for us. Thank you very much for uh, reflecting on, uh, on your studies and how that uh, contributes. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about your MSc thesis research? Yeah, uh, uh, my topics during my MSc study is uh, focusing on uh, how can we, uh, I mean, let's say, distribute water from, I mean, when we're releasing water from the dam. And I took uh, the case study f uh, in, uh, in Kurdistan region, north of Iraq. It is Bahma Dam. It is under construction. So our idea is how can we release water and distribute it to the all users by equity and quality, you know, uh, a way. Uh, so we learn many uh, techniques. And I remember my model, it's Waflex model at that time. So it, it is an easy model, but it is, uh, in fact, very, uh, very active model, an easy and active. So I give, uh, I mean, at that time, I transfer what I learned here to the many staffs of our ministry uh, to learn them how can we deal with, the, with an easy model like uh, Waflex and uh, reflect, of course, that is reflect their duty, I mean, uh, during distribution water. Would you like to tell us a little bit more uh, what impact really you want to make in your uh, professional career? Of course, uh, in our ministry, we are focusing on the people living downstream. So, yeah, actually, we don't have, let's say, a big problem with the people live from Baghdad to north. So our challenge become from Baghdad to the south of Iraq. So we need, actually we are focusing on the people live in the downstream because we have two river. So when, I, when we are following the water from the border, let's say, from Iraqi's border, we are very sensitive and looking for the quality and the quantity. Actually we are focusing on equality number one the quantity is the number two, because without good quality, if we mean we release 400 cubic meter, is meaningless. They can use, they cannot use it. They maybe uh, become a disease to, to to the people. The pollution, you know. So we are focusing to keep the same amount, not exactly the same amount, but the same quality for the people who live in north to the same people who live to the south. So that is our target, to keep the same quality because we have many problems inside, inside Iraq. There are some people who release polluted water without any treatment. So we are working with the Ministry of Environment to avoid that. But you know, it's not easy uh, to adapt that or to applying that in, 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 in short time. So we try to keep the same quality to the people who live downstream. What is your key message? 
to our prospective IHE students. Uh, I advise all the people in the whole round of, I mean, the world, if they are looking for the basic experience, I advise, I advise them to visit uh, Netherlands and uh, take, uh, I mean, their education in IHE, for instance, in TO Delft, and whole scientific research in, in, in IHE because they have highly experienced and very important issue that the whole world are facing in the future. You know that uh, IHE Delft is home for students from many countries, including Iraq. What is the key message you would like to give to our current population of students at IHE Delft? Yeah, of course, I met uh, some of them uh, yesterday. So, uh, of course, I, uh, I encourage them to take this opportunity in a serious way and to try to using, for instance, a case study from their country, from Iraq, because they, they, they feeling uh, the people come from Iraq, they should have the same service in their country when they are coming back. I mean, in Aichi, they prefer to bring their case study from Iraq and then doing their MSc here in order to give something to, to, to their country. So that is my advice to our uh, student here. I'm very glad to hear from uh, our uh, alumni officer, Maria Laura, that you are very active also in uh, contacting and inspiring IHE Delft uh, alumni. So would you like to tell us a little bit more about, uh, about this aspect? I, I think we have 18 graduating uh, from IHE, 18 people from our ministry. Most of them, uh, I gave him uh, a high responsibility. We have engineer Hatem Hamid. He graduated in 2006. He is now a general director for uh, National Water Resource, the center, National Center for Water Resource in Iraq. This is very important uh, directory and uh, it is related to the water policy, I mean, Ministry of Water Policy. And his deputy, by the way, Mr. Laith Abdel Sattar, he is all, uh, also one of the IHE graduated. And uh, we have uh, Mr. Ala Turki, he is also a head of the strategic study session. Engineer Rana, she is now a head of the uh, study uh, department in the State Commission for Dams. Many, many of them, uh, I am very, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm very keen to be there, I mean, to, to give him opportunity to take responsibility because we are looking for a new generation. So a new generation and take uh, the, their MSc from IHE, from very important institute dealing with the water, so that is mean we need to give him opportunity to take responsibility. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mahdi Rashid Al Hamdani, Minister of Water Resources Iraq, for having this interview with me. I'm sure that uh, this interview will be inspiring for uh, many students in IHE, but also many water practitioners in Iraq and uh, internationally. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you.